Hi, welcome to another tutorial on iColorama. The latest release has a, a number of new settings in the actual settings app for iOS. And I want to describe one of those settings, Continuous Brush. So, what we're going to look at first here is this image that I've sent through Ogle. And I'm going to apply a brush setting. Bristle brush. This is a new brush setting and one that I think you'll really like. But in order to illustrate what continuous brushing does, I'm going to go through it without continuous brushing turned on. I'm going to establish a background color for my canvas. I'm going to apply that. And my source is the underlying image of the mountain. I'm going to select a preset, in this case preset 5 of 8, adjust my size, and just start painting in. The bristle brush is a nice rough brush that distorts somewhat the underlying image to paint it onto the screen. Now, let's say I want a little more detail up in the mountains here. For that, I want a rebound brush. So I would apply that brush, that bristle brush, and then I would go to rebound. When I go to rebound, it's going to have another completely white canvas. And what I would do, have to do, is establish the original as my background, the painted version. But then I would have to go into source and go back to the original photo because I don't want to paint using the rebound brush the already painted version from the bristle, the image that you see there on the screen already. I have to go back into my camera roll and pick out the original image in order to paint this detail that I now see here in my source. I'm going to apply that and now I can go back in and paint in detail here in the mountains, some of the trees. So without continuous brushing, you have to reestablish your background and your source. Let's go into the settings. And under the settings, we want to go to iColorama. You have to scroll way down until you see iColorama. And then you'll see that there are now settings here. Force English. Um, warning when leaving a brush. That's a very handy thing to have in case you accidentally hit that menu you would lose any brushwork that you have if you don't have that warning when leaving a brush. Variable color by stroke. Hide the record button so that it's not taking up space on the left-hand side of your screen. And the help button that's also on the left-hand side of your screen, you can move that into the tone menu so it's no longer in your way. But I'm going to turn on continuous brushing down here at the bottom. I'm going to exit out of settings. I'm going to get rid of iColorama so that it will uh, read those settings again when we open up iColorama. Now the steps are still there. I can go back to my original. I can go to bristle brush and then I can establish my background here first time swatch take that color apply that my preset is number five just my size start painting in I am stroking 
And then I go back and I dab. Stroke a little bit more here. There we go. I'm going to apply that. Now when I go to rebound, I no longer get that white canvas I've already set for my uh, for this background, the painted version, to be my background and my original picture to be source. So I can immediately go back in and paint around the edges here to get a little more detail. I can apply that. I can now go in and do things like put in a texture. When I try and leave the brushes, it will say, you are leaving brush preset. And so any brush work that you have not applied, it will be lost. Is it okay? Yes. Now I can go in and apply my texture. I'll go in and take this nice uh, canvas, number 18. Adjust the size down just a little bit. Zoom in here so you can see it a little bit more here. So I adjust the size, maybe have a little more contrast, bring down the opacity. And now I'm ready to save. So that's continuous brushing, what it is necessary for. It allows you to not have to reestablish the background and source when you're moving back and forth between different brush presets. I hope that's helpful to you. Until next time, enjoy iColorama.